Did Satan inspire the Catechism? Let me show you what I mean. Page 129, number 460 here in the official Catechism of the Catholic Church. I'll put it up on screen for you. It says, For the Son of God became man so that we might become God. The only begotten Son of God, wanting to make us sharers in His divinity, assumed our nature so that He made man, might make men gods. And if you look, there's two different uh, little footnote things there. And you go down there and it quotes St. Athanasius and St. Thomas Aquinas. They don't quote scripture. So that statement that they have right there in the catechism, I have it highlighted in orange, right there, that statement is not written in scripture. There's no scripture backing that up. It's just two of the Catholic theologians. All right, that's a problem. But let me show you what the Bible has to say. Genesis chapter 3, you go the whole way back to the Old Testament, the very first book in the Bible. Genesis chapter 3, um, verse 4 through 5 says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. You search this entire Bible, and the Lord never says, I'm going to make you God, or a gods, or something like that. He never says that, but Satan does. So who really inspired that statement in here? Who was the, what was the spirit that was working through St. Athan Athanasius and St. Thomas Aquinas? To say that God wants to make you a God. Jesus never said it in the scriptures. But you have two Roman Catholic theologians that do. Hmm. You say, well, that's absurd. Satan, you know, Satan inspired the catechism. That's crazy. Go to the New Testament. Matthew chapter 16. Our church was founded upon St. Peter. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, you know, um, verse 18 says, And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay? Uh, that's one of the big primary verses for Roman Catholics, but they don't often go down to verse 23. Verse 23 in the Bible says, But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Um, so, if you want to say that uh, Peter was the founder of your faith here and whatever else, Christ founded it and then he put Peter as the head of it, well, maybe there's a secret little inside joke there that uh, Peter at this point was speaking for Satan. Well, if Peter was the one that was, you know, really truly behind the statement there, I realize I didn't quote Peter, but, um, hey, you know, maybe... Uh, Peter, when he was wicked there, maybe that's a little thing that that's the true founding of the Roman Catholic Church. It's Satan. <laughs> and the same passage there. Um, I don't think I'd follow the catechism if you want to be truly saved, if you truly want to be born again, um, if you want to go to heaven when you die. Because the catechism is obviously very satanic with what it said there in uh, the thing I showed earlier. Um, that's the words of Satan. It's not the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, be really careful what you believe.